The city of Minot, North Dakota, in my hometown, is facing a dire emergency. Minot and other communities on the Suris River in my home state are facing a flood of epic proportion. We have a wall of water heading toward the city. I'm told that the sirens have just sounded in that town, alerting people to evacuate. Uh, you can see this is the headline this morning from that town's major newspaper, and the headline is Projection Devastation. Minot residents evacuate as historic rise in the Suris River approaches. Madam President, this flood is a result of overly wet conditions for an extended period of time, record snow melt combined with record rainfall in the basin above the city. We are now told that perhaps a third of the city will be underwater. This is a headline from yesterday in the Minot Daily News, kind of summed it all up. It's a sad day. Crest could be 10 feet higher than the crest we had on June 1st. Uh, I mean, it is staggering to understand what's happening here. There are four reservoirs above the city of Minot, all of them filled to capacity. In fact, the major reservoir in Canada, we have been told the floodgates are wide open. They cannot control the flow of water. This was the headline of the Bismarck Tribune, Crisis to the North, Source floods force 11,000 residents from the city of Minot. It's a town of 40,000, so when you have 11,000 people forced to flee, uh, that has a devastating impact. That's what's happening to this community of Minot, North Dakota. 40,000 people, the home of one of the major Air Force bases of the United States, home of Minuteman missiles, home of B-52 bombers, uh, Minot, North Dakota, fourth largest city in my state, and about to experience the greatest devastation in the history of the town. So this headline, Projection Devastation, says it very well. Uh, that's what we're faced in this community. The bottom line is we're going to need help, and we're certainly getting it. We deeply appreciate the efforts of the Corps of Engineers, FEMA, all of the other federal agencies that are helping the National Guard, certainly, hundreds of troops there uh, doing a fantastic job of patrolling these dikes, of helping people move, of making certain that people get out of harm's way, because number one is protecting people's lives. The uh, final board I'll show is the headline from the Minot Daily News of June 21st. It's a sad day. It is indeed a sad day. But you know what? The people of North Dakota are tough, they're resilient, and they're going to come back. And I have every confidence that we'll rebuild this town. It'll be uh, a tough slog. But the people of North Dakota are equal to it. And we deeply appreciate the help that we're getting from people all across America. This is, I've seen America at its best at a time of crisis. When people are down, when they're hurt, when they're devastated by natural disaster, the people of the United States rally and help out. Uh, that's the ethic of my state. When a farmer gets sick and can't harvest his crop, the neighbors pitch in. When a barn burns down, the neighbors pitch in. That is really the best of community spirit. That's the best of America. And we're going to be relying on that generosity of spirit in the days ahead.